Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, making the walk to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, Jose Alberto Aguirre! And please welcome, making the walk to the ring, fighting out of the red corner, Oshin Tore! Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout of the evening is sanctioned by the Boxing Union of Ireland, taking place over six rounds in the welterweight division. The referee when the action begins, Mr. Parmi O'Rockadon. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This brings into the ring a record of two wins, one of those wins coming by knockout. Fighting out of Costa Rica, please welcome Jose Elpe. Standing across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 151.3 pounds. He brings into this ring a perfect professional record of two wins and no defeats. Fighting out of Bray, County Wicklow, please welcome Oshin Tracy! We move on to fight number three, and one of my personal favourite fighters, Oshin Tracy. This man loves a war, and we're wondering, will Jose Aguirre, the veteran from Costa Rica, will he provide that in what is Tracy's first six-rounder? Yeah, and he very well might, you know, he's, he's never been stopped, so we know Aguirre is, is very durable. And you know, he's gone decent rounds as well, he's, gone, he's done six rounds, he's done seven rounds, I think he's done ten rounds as well. He's a tough man here, El Perro, the nickname, the dog, and hopefully he fights like one. Yeah, he, he'll just have to be a little bit careful, you know, he's in with a, a guy who's quite big at the way, long arms, you know, he can't go lunging in with his head down. Tracy does have all the, the attributes for a fighter, he's, he's going to be campaigning at welterweight eventually, and he does have size for the weight and range, but... Sometimes he doesn't use it uh, to the fans' benefit, but maybe not to his own fight, fighting benefit. I think it's always sort of a battle within himself. Will he box or will he fight? And currently he's boxing, he's poking out that jab, but sometimes it's only a matter of time. Nice right hand there, long right hand from Tracy, and Aguirre is just sort of seeing the range that he has to be in or not in, and Tracy can catch it from anywhere. Yeah, you know, we've seen the short uppercuts there. He, he's trying to time Aguirre as he comes in. You know, he, he has that little craftiness about him, but he's pawing that jab out just to keep the range where he wants it. A beautiful body shot there. And spins out. Nice left hook there as well. As we mentioned earlier, you know, you don't want to be playing to the crowd. Uh, we've seen Oshane previously. Mm. may do that a little bit. You know, he loves to tear it up. And he's proven that you know he's, he's a tough kid. It's been a long couple of months for Oshin as well. He debuted last November on the inaugural JB card, fought in the second, and then has had a couple of shows off. He's moving up to six rounds, moving down in weight, doing a lot of developing outside of the ring, and here's his chance to show it. Yeah, you know, he's been composed here so far. It's two or three nice shots underneath the elbows. Aguirre maybe just looking to take him a couple of rounds and up the pace as he goes in, feeling out here. And Tracy isn't taking any bait. He's not looking to get too greedy when he lands a shot. Straight round hand to the chest there seemed to wobble the Costa Rican a little bit on a right hand to the body for good measure. Yeah, you know, we've seen previously, you don't fall into the trap with these South American fighters. They kind of mm. lull you into a sense of security. But it's been, uh, it's been quite good so far from Oshin. You know, Aguirre looks very relaxed in there, you know. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bothered with what's coming back from Tracy, but he's being outlanded by a factor of five here. And a nice sharp jab knocks the head back at the Central American. Good first round from Oshin Tracy.
Ratu. Yeah, you know, it's very early in uh, Tracy's career. There's a lot of things for him, you know, to still learn a lot of tests that he'll pass. But he, he's doing well here, staying composed, being patient, picking his shots. You know, we've seen a lot of fighters come unstuck with uh, South American mm -hmm. opponents in both here and the UK. We're starting to maybe step up the tempo a little bit, trying to push Tracy back to the ropes, but the Wicklow man spins out well and continues peppering the visitor. Maybe lunging in just a little bit there from Tracy as Aguirre takes a step back. Yeah, I think Aguirre would be much more suited as a kind of a stand in the middle of the ring and let's have a scrap. Mm. And he's probably struggling a little bit here with the range that Tracy has, you know. And that reach as well is causing him problems. He's hitting him with jabs. Calibrations maybe just a little bit off there from Tracy who swings and misses but he comes back with a nice left hook to the body. And as you're going into these six round fights, eight rounds, seven rounds, you do need to slow down your opponent, especially if they are these men of steel that are coming over to visit that can seemingly go for days. You just need to slow them down whatever way you can and left hooks to the body will do that. Yeah, you know, pacing is, is a big factor when you're transitioning from four to six or eight, you know. You don't want to waste energy, but you know, Tracy here has been picking shots. Enough to win rounds and you know keep his opponent honest. You know, we're not seeing a lot this round from uh, Guerre. You know he's, he's been a little bit static. Marching forward there with the hands up, yeah. Tracy misses with the right hand, but follows up with a straight left jab up through the middle that forces Aguirre back into the ropes. It's been good so far it's been a little bit tame you could say but uh, Tracy that's what him in his corner probably wanted coming into this fight to show that he can box that he did have a decent amateur career he's not just a scrapper yeah and he's fighting in Borster you know he, he's getting explosive and just little combinations and then he's gone back to them just his walk just above us here we heard the connection of that right hand to the body from Tracy who's looking to let up those uppercuts to the body but a narrow escape there from a counter shot from Aguirre who maybe isn't coming looking to get too involved but he will put manners on you if you're if you try to take liberties I think yeah he, he certainly knows how to survive seen some excellent fights over the last couple of years for Celtic titles you know they're, they're the stepping stone title that gets those domestic fights going you know three four five and all lads and then we're in reach for you know we're seeing Tracy and a, a handful of the guys we've seen on JB shows recently we'll have John Boyd coming up later he's another in and around that makes Glenn Byrne the same it's, it's a busy busy time especially on this we'll call it the JB universe of fighters and Looking forward to seeing what matches can be made out of tonight as well as the matches that are happening here. Aguirre looking to close the distance here, but Tracy rattles him with a right uppercut and another one. He's starting to put a bit more weight into his punches and I don't think Aguirre particularly wants to be here. He is a survivor. Yeah, he doesn't look comfortable in there now. He's coming forward and it's not really working. And right hand of the body makes the elbows of Aguirre drop. He's been forced to fight by Tracy, who's stepping up the stepping up the attack in round three. And Aguirre didn't like that. He turns away. It's all over. Left hook to the body. Too much for Aguirre, who just was not able to continue. He's not. You know, the first man to stop Aguirre here. That's a statement win for Mushy and Tracy. Let everyone know he's here to stay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes after one minute and five seconds of round number three. Your winner, by TKO, Oshin Tracy! I'm here with a victorious Oshin Tracy. Oshin, third professional victory under the belt.
you wasted no time in getting the job done tonight. How's it feel? Yeah, that was the plan. Come out, stick to the game, man. I didn't go mad. I listened to my corner, they called the shots, and I, I put them together, and we got the job done. And it sounds like you brought quite a crew here in support as well tonight. How good for you to be fighting close into the hole and having all these people around? Yeah, listen to this. You're brave! What happens next now? Where do we go next? Uh, I don't pick my opponents up like that. I let my dad, Jimmy and Jay call the shots. They, they've stared me right so far. But I do want to count the count in the next three fights maybe. So I'm sure Jay will give me something. There's something to aim for for sure. Ladies